Hello guys, welcome to Code Vedana. Today we will learn how we can use tab layout with View Bezel 2. So without wasting much time, let's go for coding now. First of all, add a tab layout. Tab layout with uh, width of match parent and height of wrap content. We will give it an ID tab layout. Now we will add a view pager to view pager to width, uh, width will be match parent and height will be match parent. And we will give it a ID view pager. Now we will add a fragment to our project. So go to new fragment and choose blank fragment and uh, give it a name and giving it demo fragment. And click finish. Just wait for the build to finish and remove this extra items. this on create as well now override on view created method on view created method and uh, remove this uh, non null annotation from the jet frame uh, it is not mandatory to use them so just remove them to resolve the error if you are not getting any error then uh, you can let them be there now just go to fragment xml layout file uh, change this frame layout to relative layout now change this tag The size 46 SP and text is color purple 500. Text is style bold and uh, center in parent true. Uh, change this height and width to web content. Give it a ID. ID text view. Now go to Java file and uh, find this text view here. So text view. Find view. Uh, view dot find view by ID. Pass the ID here as text view and set text. Now call get arguments method and get string. And for that, we will uh, create a key. So just go to top of the fragment and just create a public static final string and. Uh, Name it as title and assigning a value. So now use this uh, static variable. So that's all for the demo segment. Now just go to Java folder and create a new Java class name it as adapter demo now extend from fragment state adapter and press alt enter and implement the methods remove this jet print annotation 
the salt enter and create a constructor choose the third one it's a life cycle and fragment manager so remove this annotation now fragment fragment equal to new demo fragment now create a bundle to pass the argument so arc equal to new bundle and uh, arc dot uh, put string and uh, key will be demo fragment dot title and uh, value is tab space plus uh, position plus 1 okay. so as indexing is zero based so plus 1 now fragment dot uh, set arguments and pass the bundle here and now just return the fragment change this get item count to 3 as we are adding 3 items That's all for the demo adapter. Now go to main activity and uh, first of all find the tab layout. Tab layout equal to find view by id r dot id dot tab layout and uh, find the view pager view pager two equal to find view by id r dot id dot pager. Now create a reference of the adapter. So adapter demo and uh, new adapter demo. And we have to pass the fragment manager. So call get support fragment manager and uh, get life cycle. That's all. Now assign this adapter to the view pager. So view pager 2 dot set adapter and pass the adapter here. Now we will create a tab layout mediator. Uh, new tab layout mediator and uh, pass the tab layout first, then pass the view pager 2 then pass the callback so new tab mediator press alt enter and replace with lambda now call attach method now in this uh, callback method set the text of the tab so tab tab dot set text and uh, text will be tab space plus uh, position plus one okay. that's it now just run our app let me start the pvd Our app is launched now. Just change the tabs. You can change the fragment with the tabs and uh, swipes as well. So that's it for this tutorial, guys. Thanks for watching. Visit our blog. This is the URL codevedanam.blogspot.com. And uh, if you learn something new from this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to Code Vedanam for further new videos. Thank you.